Welcome back. Let's go, everybody. Uh, the sun is starting to descend upon that horizon pretty quickly at this point. A sunset in about 20 minutes or so and a decent day out there just on the chilly side. Yes, only topped out at 39 in Grand Rapids. But look at the landscape. I mean, what happened to all the snow? It was there, what, seven, uh, eight, nine days ago and a lot of it. But uh, we've had a lot of sunny days and a lot of mild afternoons. And uh, that sun goes to work on that snowpack, especially this time of year and now it's got to work on those piles which are like glaciers uh, around West Michigan at this point and uh, some milder temperatures into the 40s and eventually the 50s are showing up on the seven day chart. We'll get to that momentarily. You can see the sun setting in Stanton and Battle Creek, Ravenna over to Muskegon. Everybody's got the blue skies and the majority of us were without clouds uh, through this morning and afternoon. Yes, a few wispy types of clouds this morning, but that was it. That's all I saw in the Grand Rapids area. It's gonna be warmer on Wednesday. We're pushing into the upper 40s. Uh, you know, today we landed actually a degree or two shy of what it appeared we'd get to, even though you'd never know it because we had all the sunshine. It was chilly, yes, but uh, really the difference between, say, 41 degrees and uh, 39 and not too great. Nonetheless, upper 40s tomorrow, probably about 47, maybe 48 or 49. We'll see how it shakes out. More on that coming up. No rain nor snow in the seven day. I mean, that's pretty interesting. These first couple weeks of March, that's where you look to get any additional accumulating snow thereafter. It's just kind of a crapshoot depending on the uh, weather pattern or, you know, where systems track because it wants to get warmer back half of March into April. Typically, 50s do return, uh, if not over this weekend, then by Monday into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. I mean, there are warmer days that are going to be coming in. It's just a matter of how soon does that milder air build in from the west. And uh, I'll have more on that here in a, moment, in a moment as well. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s to around 40 degrees. You'd expect it to be a little bit milder down to the south, and it is. Benton Harbor at 40. And these winds out of the southwest providing wind chills today that have been down into the 20s and 30s despite our increase on the thermometer versus yesterday. So we have gained some ground with these temps. We'll do that in a similar fashion for tomorrow. Wind chills, yeah, right now lower 20s off to the north. Battle Creek, uh, I should say Big Rapids and Fremont, more like the upper 20s does it feel like in Grand Rapids. This is what I'm talking about, though. A lot of mild air out through the western and central United States, and it's trying to work its way in here. It's just that there's a big trough of low pressure over easternmost Canada and into the northeastern United States, and it's going to be tough to dislodge between now and the weekend. So it's this western extent of the chilly air represented by these blue colors, eventually lighter blues and green colors, and we're going to be just enough in close proximity to that area of low pressure, that cold low pressure, that it's going to prevent uh, those green colors from really plowing in here any time soon. Nonetheless, with all the sunshine, it will feel pretty decent uh, over the next several days. You go off into Canada, nothing outrageously cold there. And all these afternoons going forward, we do anticipate to be at or above normal. So, uh, yeah, these 50s will come in by early next week, 52 Monday, 55 by next Tuesday. There is some chance that we could even go higher than that near 60 degrees if everything comes into play just right. Future snowfall, absolutely nothing. So in, any surprises in our next uh, seven days? I don't see it at all. There's not going to be any accumulating snow anytime soon, probably through week two as well, because as I'm talking about, it gets even warmer. A southwest flow pattern, that means winds are being directed from southwest to northeast and being aided by this clipper system moving just to the north of Lake Superior. That clipper system is going to keep our winds breezy tonight and prevent any drop off. Last night got down to 13. We're nowhere near that tonight, more like the lower 30s. And so our starting point tomorrow is going to help us to push back into the upper 40s. This model, this RPM has been bullish the last two days on cloud cover overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. I think that's a little bit aggressive. I am anticipating a fair amount of sunshine through the day on Wednesday as my model is stuck and doesn't want to go. There it goes. So if you went just by this RPM, it looks pretty cloudy tomorrow morning and early afternoon. I think that's overdoing it. So I am anticipating uh, at least partly cloudy skies, if not mostly sunny even by the afternoon. Nonetheless, upper 40s here, Doug and Annie. We do drop it back behind this cold front tomorrow, late day into the evening. So lower 40s Thursday and Friday, but starting to charge over the weekend. 50 showing up by early next week. All right, Anthony, thank you. New here at